Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. I'm Mary Predon. I'm the Director of Communications for the Hudson Gateway Association of Realtors. And welcome again to another one of our virtual Breakfast with Benefits. We are back today with our friends, Alex Montalente and Josh Warren from Real Grader. And they are going to talk about today your Google marketing plan for 2023. Um, so a lot to learn. And uh, these guys are the gurus of social media. And uh, welcome back, Alex and Josh. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Uh, Mary, can I uh, share screen? Yep. Okay. And Mary, I love the new hairstyle. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, for everybody, whenever you do get a new hairstyle, one of the biggest Facebook tricks out there is to update your profile photo. Oh, good Updating idea. Updating your profile photo on Facebook yeah. wakes up the entire Facebook algorithm. Oh. And all your content get read more often because Facebook is like, oh, you haven't really been on here in a while. You haven't updated your photo in a while. The second you update your photo, the best thing to do is say, hey, everybody, you know, you don't have to mention your hairstyle if you don't want to, <laughs> because they, hey, everybody, how's you doing? I've been on, haven't been on Facebook in a while. And you'll get a stream of comments and the whole algorithm with Facebook just wakes up. So that's like a quick tip right there. Great. Good to know. All righty. And Alex, do you prefer you like to take questions as they come up in the chat? Yeah, the best thing is put your questions in the chat. Josh is going to be presenting today. I'll be looking at the chat and I'll be Googling some of you live. We'll talk about that in a little bit just to give you some insights on what you could be improving with your social media, what your customers are seeing online on Google. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm going to kind of lead this presentation, kind of take us through it. Alex is, you know, like he said, he'll be watching the chat. I can't see the chat, so uh, he'll be answering questions. And we, we want it to be inter interactive uh, today, guys. You know, you know how these go. Um, you get more out of it when you're on video. You get more out of it when you're, you know, totally paying attention. And we've got some great uh, things we're going to cover today. We're almost kind of going back to the basics of uh, your Google presence. And this is kind of where we started with HGAR uh, and with Mary and doing these. And we've kind of touched on a lot of different aspects of social media, but we're going to kind of get back to the basics of, you know, what does your whole online presence look like? What do you look like when people, you know, get you as a referral and what do they see? And then are you playing all out on social media with your, your real estate career? So um, like Mary said, my name is Josh. Oh, let's, let's also, hey, Josh, let's stop there for a second. My question is, are you playing all out? So I there see a go. lot of people now with video on. If, if you really do want to get the most out of this, I do recommend putting on your video and, and being present. If you think you're going to be busy and you've got too much business to work on, don't don't dabble in this and dabble in that. Either go all in on your business or go all in on the webinar. And why I say that is because we really want you to get the most out of it, right? And one of the biggest things missing on social media is actually you, like your face, your video. That's the stuff that works. So the more you get comfortable with it, the more you make progress. Yeah, and picture it this way as well. Like, so if you, um, you know, somebody gets your card as a referral and they look you up on Google and the person that gave them that referral, you want to make sure you're looking good to them as well. So um, that you're searchable, that you look awesome across your platforms. And uh, we're going to kind of go over and cover that today. So again, my name is Josh Warren. Uh, I'm a national uh, speaker with Real Grader. And uh, it definitely is conference season right now. We've been on the road um, at Inman in New York. Alex was there. Um, we've been to uh, California, Las Vegas. So it's, it's uh, we're in the mix right now of helping agents across the country get their Google presence solid um, to go into this 2023 year uh, as it gets more competitive and uh, you know helping you guys stand out online. So I'm going to speak to that, Mary. I just want to tell Mary because she's, Mary, you've been supporting us for over a year now with these Breakfast with Benefits. And one of the big news that just came out, we just got chosen by the National Association of Realtors. They they chose us as the first company that they're investing in for 2023. Wow. And we're being we're part of the National Association of Realtor Reach Program. So the Reach Program, just so everybody knows, is a program where the National Association of Realtor actually chooses eight tech companies per year that they promote, that they endorse, that they take on the road with them. And we're gonna be at like all the national shows with them at their booth. 
Congratulations. That's wonderful yeah, news. It is, it is a huge deal. Thank you. Yeah, it was a, it's a pretty pretty big pretty big deal for us as a uh, company that's been around for a long time doing websites for agents. Uh, 21 years, I think, Alex, now we started this in Long Island. Um, right from this house right here. So I'll let Alex give you his uh, brief intro here of how this whole thing got started for us and how we started helping uh, agents and brokers expand their business online. Yeah, so for those of you that don't haven't heard my story, my mom was a realtor. She was doing real estate. She came from Romania. She started in America with nothing. So she's like, to me, the super entrepreneur. I didn't start from nothing. I started from my mom and you know everything that she had built. But my mom really started from zero, came from Romania. They took away her house during communism. My grandfather was put in the prison system. My grandmother and mother left, negotiated, exchanged their house for their passport, basically, to get out of the country, came to America, got to JFK Airport, went and worked in the factories in Queens, New York, then got her rent, uh, started doing rentals in Queens, and then got into residential real estate on Long Island and eventually put a down payment on this property. It didn't come easy for her. She rented out both sides of that house before she lived in it. And then eventually she owned one side and then eventually she was able to afford the mortgage for both sides. And uh, in 1999, I came home from college. She was struggling with the internet and I thought I was gonna go work in New York City. And next thing I know, I'm dragged into the real estate business because she needed help with all of her putting the listing into the MLS, digital marketing, and we closed a really big deal. It was an $80,000 commission check. And I saw you know, the amount of money in real estate, but I also saw the amount of stress that realtors had around technology. And I was like, okay, if I can help my mom, who else can I help? The next thing I know, all of my mom's friends wanted to adopt me and bring me to their houses to update their websites and help them with market their listings. So I've been in the industry for over 22 years now. And now our company really helps realtors solve this whole social media problem and solve the Google problem and grow on social media, basically helping reduce your stress. It's the same thing I was doing for my mom back then. We're just doing it differently now. Yeah, absolutely. As, as websites kind of dropped a little bit in traffic and the social sites were gaining more traction, um, this is where we found, you know, three or four or five or six years ago, agents need help with this. So we just kind of stay up on all the latest, you know, things with Facebook, there's a lot of new, uh, things Google just launched in their Google in the back end of Google business for different branding features, different, you know, adding more market features. So we're taking advantage of a lot of the, the things that are, you know, always coming at us from Google and helping you guys, you know, populate in that search and in that algorithm. So that's kind of what we do is we, you know, we help measure, we're called real grader, we grade real realtors on their online presence, um, kind of like a credit karma score. Um, if you guys have not ever received your online grade, you can go to getyourfreegrade.com. That is our, our uh, site that you can uh, pop in your info. And then within a few days, we're going to email you back a grade between one to 100 on how you, you're standing online on the eight platforms that NAR um, knows that these are the sites that get the most traffic for you and that generate the most leads and help you grow your business. So not only do we do that, we kind of took the next steps where we help manage your online presence, and then as well, helping you maximize it, like getting you guys set up in Google Leads uh, programs and that kind of thing. So we're kind of helping you guys stay on top of everything. Alex has a new program that we just launched, what, a couple months ago called the Influencer Program. We're going to cover that as well as a next step for you guys to stay engaged in social media and stay up to date with free trainings, free webinars, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that as well. Um, Alex has built with RealGrader um, two, two years in a row, marketing funnels that generate more than a million dollars in revenue. So we know, uh, we know our, our stuff. We know what we're doing. These are some top influencers that uh, we work with that come on and share their stories and help you guys uh, stay engaged and trained on how they're growing their, their businesses and their top producers in the market. Tristan Ayumata runs Lab Code Agents on Facebook, the largest Facebook group for realtors. Um, so he'll come in. Yeah, and that, this is a free this is a free resource called Top Real Estate Influencers Podcast. And also another free resource we put together is realgraderuniversity.com. Both of those have amazing interviews where like I, I, I basically ask the top, top people in the industry what they're doing on social media, how they're doing it, how they're getting results. So definitely check out those free trainings. 
yeah, it's good stuff. The, the agents that are in it, I think we've got a few hundred in it now, and they're loving it. Um, they're engaging, and they're, they're learning a ton. So that's a great thing to be in. This is what uh, Alec was talking about at Real Greater University. Um, you've got access to, you know, eBooks. You can download these trainings on Facebook. There's videos um, also available. Um, so we just want to help, you know, help you guys stay on the top and cutting edge of social media. So um, if you guys don't have my number in your phones yet, um, this is my phone number. I'd like you to text me. We're also going to do text back and forth. Um, we've got an offer at the end that I can text info back to you. And then also um, in the chat as well. So um, if you want to get those a link to those guidebooks um, to that uh, Real Greater University, shoot me a text. Tell me your name, um, who you are, and we'll get that link to you so you can go on there and uh, download those free free ebooks for you on those eight essential platforms that get get the traffic for you guys that we focus on uh, for you as well. So five six one five zero six six nine nine nine. Uh, I am based in. Just so everybody knows, like we we usually charge for these ebooks when we when we package them and send them to you, uh, twenty seven dollars. But when you're on a webinar, we give them away for free. And put texting Josh isn't for us to spam you. We don't like hold on to your information or anything like that. It's just to actually just give you the resources. Yeah, the link is easy to get um, easier through text. Um, and then you can click right on there and, and uh, request your free guidebook. So we'll send you that link back there. If you shoot me a text on that, um, I'll give my number out again later on in the presentation. Uh, so we'll keep moving forward. So this is a question that uh, we love to start with. Um, you know, if I get you as a referral and I've got, you know, four referrals sitting in front of me if some, from friends and family, you know, use my realtor. He's the best. She's the best. Uh, what's the first place I go to to see who you guys are as agents? Put that in the chat or come on uh, off mute and uh, let us know. Where are we going to search? What are we seeing in the chat, Alex? Anything? Google, Google, Google. Hundred <laughs> percent. We Google. And then I'm going to be googling somebody. Amy, Amy <laughs> Skellett wanted me to Google her in the background, so I'll be googling her as well. Totally. Yeah. Uh, Ninety percent of the world searches everything on Google. Um, so this is, you know, it's not uh, a coincidence that when they get your card, they don't know who you are. They just got you as, you know, this awesome realtor. And then what do they see when they look you guys up? So that's. Uh, what we're going to kind of cover today, we met that, that that's Google for sure. Um, you know, they're putting in, you know, best realtors in your town. They're looking you up directly if they've got your card. And that's where we want your social platforms to talk to each other in that Google algorithm. So they're all showing up for you on, on page one of Google. Um, not many people go to page two. So on Google is like where your whole foundation starts. So if you guys are missing a Google business page, that's definitely the most important um, platform to have. And you'll notice when you do look, look, look up agents on Google, that's the first thing that covers 40% of the screen is that Google page showing up. If it's not populating, then you do have one. Um, if you look yourself up, you're on your computer, it recognizes you. So it probably shows a lot of cool stuff. But as we, we Google agents, you know, from other, you know, from Florida, if we're looking you guys up in New York, um, in New Jersey, then you know, it, we're going to see something different because our computer hasn't catched all those cookies and everything that helps you populate. So what, what do we see? So this is what we help you do with, with, with your Google business page. These are the eight essential sites that get the most traffic. Um, take a screenshot of those, take a pic of those if you want to, but realtor.com generating a ton of traffic to their platform right now, um, as well as homes.com. They're going after Zillow big time. So they're doing a lot of commercials. Homes.com has a huge campaign launching this year. Um, they keep giving us updates on it. It's going to be a pretty sweet platform, and um, they're going to be do, you know, driving a lot of traffic uh, to their site. So you want those, those realtor platforms set up to get free leads. And then your social platforms, there's a lot of agents on LinkedIn now posting. There's some new features for that. Um, your Facebook, for sure, is sometimes their first go-to to look, look you up. Um, so we want to be able to get out to these other platforms from your Facebook page. Uh, your Instagram and your YouTube as well. So that's kind of what we're going to cover today. So these these uh, realtor platforms is kind of where your online reputation lives. So if they're inside realtor.com and they're putting in searches 
and you're not populating, you're missing out. So if you're not, you don't have specializations in there, um, what markets you carry, uh, cover, uh, maxed out in these platforms, if it's not connected to the MLS, to HGARS MLS the right way, and populating your listings and everything, uh, you're missing out. So we definitely um, want to make sure that all of this is all set up for you and done and, and you're going all out. Social media, this is how you're talking to the world, like Alex mentioned, um, you know, updating that photo on Facebook brings you to the top of the post. And you see that on Facebook when, you know, people you follow, um, they update their profile and that's the first thing that shows up. So it brings, brings you top of mind. So um, if you've got new stuff or a new photo, everything like, you know, like Alex said, pop, pop that up there and uh, it engages your crowd back. Um, so these are this is how you're talking to the world, how you're showing up on social media, communicating and let people know who you are when they look you up. Yeah, let's pause. Let's pause there for one second. Yeah. So like I'm Googling Amy and I Googled. Uh, what was it up here? Do, 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 do. Rhonda as well. So I'm going through both of their profiles online right now. So, I mean, Amy has a Google business page. She has two five star reviews, which is great. But like just using you as an example, Amy, if you're OK with that. And every trust me, everybody's got things that they're missing, but she doesn't have her photo there. So it's like there's no instant relatedness. Like I Google her, but I don't see her photo. I see a map. It's better to have your photo. It's better to have like 25 reviews minimum. And that doesn't have to come from clients. You can get them for pretty much from anybody nowadays. So it's not like Zillow. Um, her realtor.com was kind of blank and missing service areas. Very typical. Like, yeah. and anybody who's a brand new agent, be aware that the second you become an agent, you get set up on Realtor, Homes.com, and Zillow without you even knowing it, and default, you're blank. So if you're going out there trying to get listings and they're Googling you, they're going to see these blank pages, and then you're going to think, oh, why should I list with this person, right? The idea is to have everything fully completed. Yeah. I'll keep Googling around and, and pointing out things. Yeah, thanks, Alex. And not only that, if... Uh... You know how the real estate game works. There's a lot of, you know, people dabbling in real estate, um, a lot of people doing it part time or just getting started. So you don't want to reflect that online. Um, you know, if they do look at your realtor, it's blank, their realtor.com, um, your other platforms, you know, aren't branded. There's no uh, logos or branding for your brokerage. Um, so you put that question in their mind like, oh, maybe they are part time. Do I want to work with a part time agent or is he or she still in real estate? I'm not sure. Everything's blank. So you you want that quest, no questions to come up when they look you up online and you're 100% in the game. You want that to reflect in your platform. So this is a, a, a slide that we always show just to, to show you guys that you're not alone out there. 48% uh, of realtors said that keeping up with technology is their biggest challenge. You guys got to wear a lot of hats. As realtors, you got to be an attorney. You're looking at legal documents. Um, you got to be accountants. You got to, you know, know the mortgage industry. So uh, the last thing you want to have to deal with is, you know, what's, you know, how do I control the Google algorithm? How am I showing up on Google? So um, we got your back on that. That's why we kind of, you know, took our resources from doing, you know, solid websites. We still do some awesome websites for you guys but uh, have taken our resources that do SEO and these platforms that do the branding with our graphics team and just getting, you know, things set up solid for you. And then, you know, having you populate in that Google search statewide, other countries, you want to be found on Google. So these are the platforms that we're using that we just covered. The three realtor platforms, Zillow Homes, Realtor.com, and then the five social sites. So these, this is what we focus on for you guys. And if you're not set up on these the right way, you know, you can see down here, you're missing opportunities. Um, you've got no solid presence online. You're losing digital credibility. Um, so when they are looking you up and, you, and some of these platforms aren't filled out the right way or aren't branded, um, you know, you lose that credibility of being a full-time all-in agent. And then business deals getting lost. So um, most, of, I would say like 90% of the agents that work with us um, tell us after we help them, you know, I should have done this when I first got in the game. Um, I should have just taken care of this because this is, you know, the foundation. This is where my marketing budget should have gone to getting all of this done and getting this set up. So I get peace of mind knowing I'm searchable. I look good across the platforms that get the traffic and I look like I could market your property um, online on my social sites in, in, a, in an awesome you know, way. So 
that's kind of what we do. And we realized, you know, everybody needs help with this. As realtors, like I said, you wear a lot of hats, you're busy. Um, we've talked to agents, you know, how long did it take you to get your social media going? I had one guy talk to me, actually looked pretty good. I said, how long did it take you? He said, six years. So, um, you know, he'll do a little bit, he'll forget about it, six months goes by. Oh yeah, I got to get back on my game and, on, and update my social stuff. So getting this kind of taken care of um, at one time, so you know you're good, we got your back on that as well. So this is, a, this is always cool to uh, hear from you guys in the chat, you know, based on those eight platforms, how do you think your score would be if we did a grade for you right now from one to a hundred? Um, Alex, we'll, we'll look at it in the chat. Uh, throwing a number there, one to a hundred, and hundred being the best, hundred percent, you know, one percent. Where do you think you are as far as what your score would be um, points wise if we were to grade your online presence on those eight platforms? Just looking at across those, which ones, do you not have set up? Do they, you know, are they not branded? So what would you think your online presence score would be right now? Let's, uh, let's hear what we got coming in the chat, Alex. Yeah, you got everything from Amy saying it's 65, Jessica 70, Johan 25, Jay Lamar 28, Eileen is 70, Susan maybe a 50, Jessica 50, Joanne just starting out, so I'd say a 30, Lulu, who's Romanian, by the way, Buna di Minato is uh, 70. Nice. I love it. I love it. 70. We might, we might have to uh, have Alex uh, Google those. I, some I, of like those what Ronda, I like what Rhonda wrote. She's like, would have been a 75, but probably 45 uh, after a little bit of this session. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rhonda, you're doing awesome on YouTube. YouTube, you're rocking it with the videos. That's great. Sweet. Yeah, YouTube is, uh, you know, the number two search engine in the world. I mean, Google owns them. Um, so people just aren't searching, you know, videos on YouTube. They're searching everything. So if you don't have a YouTube channel, that's one uh, we've got to get, you know, set up for you to get it as a YouTube branded channel. Um, this is what the, this was where you're going to go to get your grade. Like we mentioned, um, you could pop your info in there. And then our uh, we've created a software that will grade you on these eight platforms of how they're showing up in the Google algorithm in the Google search bar. And then also if they're branded, if they're consistent across the internet and, um, you know, if, if your info's in there. So we'll give you a grade on that. Um, and then, so get that done. And then you can also, uh, through that same uh, portal, when you're getting your grade, you can schedule a time to meet with, with uh, myself or one of our uh, team. So that's, uh, that's where we can, you know, look that up and get that done for you. This is kind of what we found after we've... I think we've, we've got to be over 30,000 profiles by now, Alex, right? Probably at 50,000 after these last couple months of conferences. Um, but yeah, we've, we've looked at over, you know, quarter million platforms um, we've graded. The average grade is a 30 out of 100. So if you said 28, you know, 30%, you're kind of right in there. 70%, you know, Alex will kind of look that up and, and see. These are, the, these, are the biggest, these are the biggest mistakes that... I mean, even the top, top producers, like the highest score we ever saw was an 82. That was uh, Gary Ashton, number one Remax team in the world. Second highest was Kerry Shull, 81 over at EXP. But they still had a lot of these mistakes in place. So like you want to look at these mistakes because these are the these are the biggest mistakes that most realtors are making online. And these are the ones that can cost you a deal or can cost you your reputation online. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I uh, worked with a couple agents yesterday that were uh, with Berkshire Hathaway. And when we looked them up on Google, there was Keller Williams stuff still showing up out there for them. So that just creates confusion. You know, is he Ke Keller Williams, he was Berkshire Hathaway? Um, you know, I'm not sure. So there's things that are still living out there on Google that we help clean up. Um, you know, if you did switch brokerages or switch brands, we want everything consistent in those platforms to populate for you. Um, in the Google algorithm and have that other stuff get pushed down or get, you know, cleaned up. Um, so yeah, there's, in, you know, negative content. There's a lot of broken links. We see a lot of broken links or duplicate links. You know, two LinkedIn's are showing up. A lot of times two realtor.coms are showing up. So then it's like, okay, which one is them? You know, um, so it just creates confusion. So you don't want any of that. And then synchronizing all your data, like is your sales data up to date on Zillow? Is it up to date? Is it populated in realtor.com? So when you see that, you know, Zillow still is a big brand. They're kind of, you know, becoming the enemy inside the industry, but, um, you know, they're still a big brand. It's still a go-to for a lot of consumers. 
Um, they just go straight to Zillow because that's what they know. And uh, if your sales data is not up to date, they're not updating that anymore for you guys, unless you're like a total top premier Zillow, you know, paying them a lot of money. But, uh, you know, so you want that populating because we, we looked agents up and they're crushing it and their Zillow page says zero sales in the last 12 months. So that for me as a referral, looking you up, I see that I go on to the next car. Oh, they must not be in the biz anymore or they're not selling anything. Um, you know, I'm going to the next referral. So definitely want to help focus that and get that cleaned up. Um, this is Gabe Cordova. He's a uh, industry influencer, does a lot with Ylopo that we partner with. And uh, he had a pretty high score too, Alex, right? When we ran Gabe through in his company. Well, he actually thought he had a really high score. He was <laughs> he, he, he said he was a hot mess. He yeah. scored around a 42. Uh, we brought him to 100. But yeah, he even had wrong phone numbers. He was like, he was spending all this money doing digital marketing and the phone numbers were wrong. Yeah. Yeah, and he had a big, you know, marketing team helping him as well. And we found, uh, yeah, just a lot of holes, a lot of gaps out there online for them um, that were really fixed up. So he's a, uh, he's an influencer. He's a real greater, um, you know, partner. He loves what we did for his company. And uh, he's out there recommending, you know, us to everybody that he works with in the market too. So let's jump in then. Let's see how we build your, you know, your brand online in all these main sites. You know, what, what, uh, what needs to be done uh, Alex is Googling you guys in the background, leaving you tips. Um, so now we come to uh, our fun part of the presentation here where we want to see who wants to jump in the hot seat on live on the webinar. Um, I'll look you guys up, a couple of you, and we'll see kind of how you're showing up. So Alex, put Google me in the chat, guys, if you want us to you know, look you up now um, online. Alex, if you have any recommendations, uh, let me know. And um, we'll pop them in here to Google and see, you know, kind of what we what we find as okay. I just got your card. Let's huh. do let's do Maria Maria Campanelli just put in. Spell the last name for me. Uh, Campanelli C A M P A N E L L I. She's on video too, so that's why I'm choosing her. Cool. Amy and Rhonda have also been on video, but I've been Googling you in the background. So I'm trying to give you some, some pointers in the background, I'm trying to give everybody a little something today. Yeah. So Maria, can you come off of, uh, or, or let her come on if she can? Yep. There she is. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Awesome. Have you been on our, one of our webinars before? I have, and I spoke to you, and I thought of going on board with you, um, and they convinced me to do HomeSnap instead, which was a mistake. <laughs> Not the first time we've heard that. Um, so awesome. So basically, when, when someone looks you guys up and Googles you direct, they've got your card, uh, you know, they were re referred, you, uh, you were referred to them to give you a call. So they just put your name in, and they put Realtor. Sometimes they'll put, you know, NY for New York. But this is where we want things to populate for you. So um, this is awesome. You have a Google business page set up. Mm -hmm. um, the titling looks great. Um, you have a lot of keywords in there to help it populate. But like Alex was saying, you know, the first thing we want to see is your face. Um, this is where re relatability starts. Um, you know, when we're looking at Maria, we're like, okay, is this the right Maria? I think she's with Berkshire. Let me look at her card. Yep. Yeah, she's with Berkshire Hathaway. So we want right here, there's some awesome features um, that Google just launched for branding. Well, that's awesome. Uh, but, but see, like for everybody else, like that's where you want to be with reviews. She's got 35 reviews. Yeah, that's right. And, and a rating, that's solid. Yep. And then you'll see here how things line up for Maria on her Google search. So realtor.com, they spend a lot of money with Google SEO. So mm -hmm. every, every agent we look up, Realtor.com is within like the one, two, three top platforms that show up. So that gets clicked on a lot. And then so when we, you know, click on Realtor.com, this is where we want to see like, you know, that you're, that you're populating and you're getting, you know, leads out of here, right? So this is awesome. Your, your photo's consistent, which is great. Um, having some, you know, Berkshire Hathaway, I know you guys just got some new logos and stuff. Yep. Um, so we want to get that out there. That's a powerful brand. You want to let everybody know, um, you know, having your phone number, email, like just a professional, um, not a business card look, but you know, lifestyle images are very popular right now. So outdoor like this is awesome, but we want to see it, you know, more info on it. It's like a, a billboard for you, right? 
you're driving down the street, you see a billboard for a realtor, you, it just gets in your head and you see that everywhere and you recognize that brand. Um, so that's awesome. You got your why you show, why you show an, Why don't you show an example of that? Just so everybody gets the idea what branding yeah, so is. So actually I've got a good uh, um, Berkshire Hathaway agent um, that just went through our, our services. Most, mo most of you that I Googled, like Rhonda and Amy, um, there was no branding and you work for these amazing brands, but like the banner image on the top on Facebook, on Realtor, on Google, on LinkedIn can be like this beautiful branded banner. So we'll show you an example of that. Yeah, and here's a great example of uh, the new cylinder headshots um, that we could do on Google business and then having your branding you know, in the background as well. And we're kind of seeing how her platforms are lining up here uh, in the Google search as well. So like a good example of, her branding. So if I go to her Facebook page, uh, you know, she's got this cover image that we created for her. It's got her Berkshire logo. It's got her name, phone number. Um, and then I can tell right away, ooh, she sells waterfront stuff in Florida. You know, I'm looking for a luxury place in Florida. I definitely want to work with Kristen because, you know, that that uh, just gives me that, that branded image in my head of this is the market she's in. Um, that's the market I'm in, and I'm, and I'm relating, you know, off the bat right away uh, with her. So even if we go to, um, you know, her realtor.com page as well, we're going to see that same consistent branding. We're going to reformat it a little bit for each platform, um, but we definitely want to see, you know, consistency across the board. Um, each platform is different size pixels, so cramming, in, you know, an image into these platforms if it's not you know formatted the right way it's not going to you know look the best that it can be and then having everything kind of populated in here so she's connected to the mls the right way um, her price range is in there so if i'm putting in hey i'm looking for something in palmetto bay i'm looking for a condo and i'm looking for you know seven hundred fifty thousand dollar price range she's going to populate and our teams know these top keywords by market so in the new york market uh, as well, like what what are the, the keywords that get searched the most for specializations? So we're going to help and add all these in there for you guys. Um, you know, if you do, if you take on our services, so just having these platforms populating. Um, I've heard, you know, we I think we've shared that before stories from agents that look back on their business, you know, last year and they're like, man, I got like thirty something leads out of Realtor.com, and I think I closed, you know, four or five, six of them. So definitely getting free leads from these platforms, you know, is key. So if we're back on Maria's realtor.com, look at that area served, fantastic. She's connected to the, the MLS the right way. So this is a great example, you guys, of having these things filled out, um, you know, in realtor.com and, and helping you pop it. Maria, have you gotten any calls, leads from realtor.com? Uh, no, I haven't. And I haven't from Google either, um, Got it. which I, I kind of expected to, but um, I, I haven't. Yeah, that's a recent, some recent testimonies we're getting from some of the enhancements Google's added on their uh, back end of their Google page is that Asians are starting to, to populate more and they're getting calls directly from their Google page. Um, so as Realtor.com, you know, is doing a lot more marketing and driving more traffic to their site, you're mm -hmm. definitely going to start getting calls out of Realtor.com because you're populating in here. But updating this, uh, your branding a little bit and just having it, you know, okay more professional, um, yep. something definitely, you know, that would help as well. So we'll go back to her search here. We've got her Zillow. Are you on Zillow? Yes. A lot? Okay, awesome. Yeah. Look at you, she's rocking it. This is all updated? Yes. Up to date? Awesome. So if I see that, I get Maria as a referral. I'm calling her, right? If this says zero, you're, you're, you're out of the game, right? Because you're not reflecting if you're killing it that, you know, like that. Um, so this is awesome. She's got everything, you know, here rolling. She's got her website. This is great having all these links in here. Um, you know, your Facebook, your Twitter, getting out to LinkedIn. Um, well, if your Facebook link is broken, oh, we see okay. that a lot. Yep. So that's, uh, you know, one thing as you guys are looking through here, you know, getting out to these sites, um, you know, it's very important to help them navigate and stay kind of within your digital footprint. Don't let them get out of, you know, your world, They're looking you up and they want to go to your website and these different links. Um, you want to make sure everything is clicking 
And then in Zillow, we may want to make sure down below your reviews um, that your service areas are filled out down here as well. And this is awesome. So she's going to populate on Zillow in the, all of these markets. So because this is down low in Zillow, a lot of uh, times this isn't filled out. It's just blank. So you want to make sure that you got your service areas filled out in there too. So this is, uh, you know, in these in these platforms when we work with agents, uh, we do all this for you guys. So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, I got a lot to get updated on my stuff, uh, we'll show you how we can help you here uh, coming up in a few minutes. So we got our Zillow, we got our Realtor.com. There's her Facebook. Let's go to Facebook and see what we got. See if she's uh. Yep, so we have a different branding image, and it is looks a little pixelated. Um, you got your setting here, call now is perfect. That's what we always recommend. Um, buyers are, you know, they need answers right away these days. And then what we want to see in here, uh, Maria, too, is, you know, how, as I'm talking about having them stay within your digital footprint, your, your digital world, having links here, we call it a link stack. So um, Instagram is, is a hard for, platform for SEO because everybody has a, you know, a fun name for it. So it's not, sometimes it doesn't populate. Um, same with YouTube channel as well. So getting out to your other sites from your Facebook helps them kind of stay in, in your world and uh, search you more. So if we go back to like Kristen's, um, we'll go back to her Facebook page and then we'll kind of see what that looks like in her link stack. Um, and having it set up, you know, there's also a realtor box we can set up in here for Q&A. They can book appointments with you. But right here, I can get out to her Pinterest. I can get out to her Twitter, her YouTube, her Instagram, her LinkedIn. You know, so I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to go to her YouTube channel and see if she has any videos of any listings uh, in, you know, in the Miami area. And I go to her YouTube channel and you're going to see that same consistent branding across the board for her. Um, you know, having that there, being able to get out to her other sites from her YouTube as well. Um, we have her Instacard link in her YouTube on her Google business page, um, <laughs> which is our digital business card. And we'll kind of cover that a little bit as well um, towards the end here. But uh, yeah, just having like everything kind of populate on page one of Google, having everything branded, having everything we cover. What is it, Alex? Like 181, 183 data points in all these sites. 100, there's 181 data points on these eight websites on Google, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, realtorzillowhomes.com. I mean, we, we just, we've gone through and analyzed every profile. We know when there's new fields that need to get updated. So we, yeah. we pretty much know where the mistakes are being had. Most of you, from what I see from Googling, like your realtor.coms are blank a lot of the time. Your, your Googles aren't showing up on a Google search for your name. So that means that might not be optimized properly. Photos aren't um, consistent. Branding's missing. Yeah, pretty pretty common mistakes. Everything is fixable, which is great. But um, but yeah, there's things missing. So I I can tell Maria's been on a few a few of our trainings because she's keeping her image consistent across the board, um, except for Facebook. <laughs> that was the only one we, we've uh, seen so far that that wasn't. But, uh, but yeah, you can see um, we want this. You know. Um, what is it? It's just highlighted, I think, in purple or darker. Um, yeah, you want in LinkedIn to be associated to your brokerage. Um, you want everything kind of filled out in here. And you want to leverage leverage social media. She has 500 plus connections. So that's awesome, Maria. Like if you're in that, you know, that listing appointment, use use your, your followers and your connections um, to win that listing. Like, you know, hey, I've got 500 plus connections on LinkedIn. I'm going to post your property there, your listing there. Um, don't be afraid to follow other realtors or have them follow you. You know, you can also mm -hmm. mention, mention that um, in those appointments that, you know, I have a lot of top agents that follow me on my social media. So they're going to see your property right away. Um, they've got buyers they're, they're working with. So, you know, let's get this thing sold. So um, use that, you know, I've got X amount of followers on Facebook, um, who your followers are. You know, I have a lot of influential people that follow me. So definitely use, you, use your platforms, um, to, uh, to benefit you to, to win those deals. But her, her platforms are lining up nicely in the Google search bar. So this is awesome. Your homes.com is even populating, which is tough. Um, but that's cool. It, I think we you know pointed out a few things that you, know, you could probably update mm -hmm. and get help with, but overall, like uh, you're not you're not doing too bad. So I'm hoping that other agents, you know, have seen this, 
um, of how Maria is showing up. She's really reflecting online how she's, you know, crushing it. And, uh, you know, she's going to continue to do that off of referrals because they're going to want to call her. Um, seeing these Google reviews as well as key, they call it Google currency. Um, our Instacart helps you guys grow those reviews, makes it very easy to ask for them. And like Alex said, these aren't transaction based. So friends, family, coworkers, um, anyone in your sphere, mortgage people, title people, they're all trying to build their Google reviews as well. So swap reviews out with them. As long as it's a business review, um, Google will vet it, but they'll leave it up there. Um, you know, your kids can't go on their, your review uh, post a, you know, my mom's the best realtor in the world. <laughs> <'Cause> Google, <laughs> will, Google will take that down. Um, but anything, you know, regarding integrity, regarding, you know, how you work with clients, um, anything like that to help build these, because if I'm looking you guys up as referrals and I go to Maria, she's got 35 five-star reviews. I go to the next referral and, you know, like Alex said, I think one of you guys had two five-star reviews. I might just call Maria first based on that because that's how Google has everybody trained. Um, I might only read a couple of the reviews as well. I'm just looking more so my eyes go right to reviews, right? Um, just like when you look up a restaurant and then how many do they have that sometimes turns into winning that listing or, you know, that's why they call it Google currency. So um, that's awesome. So um, you want, should we Google one more, Alex, or how are we doing on time? You're looking good. I probably just, I started asking people like what their biggest takeaways are. They're saying, okay. Amy says, well, I need your services. Uh, Julia says marketing and consistency is key. Uh, platforms need to be filled out consistently. Awesome. So cool, cool. So uh, Maria, what, what was your uh, biggest takeaway? Um, I think that I... I, ha I have a good handle on things, but I need to bump it up a notch. And, and that's where I think your expertise would help. Um, I think the thing I focused on when I made the decision to go with HomeSnap was, uh, first of all, they told me that they, they would let me out of the contract if it didn't work, because I've had a lot of bad experiences with other places. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily think think that this is going to be a lead generator like Zillow was, but I think it'll, but I think I will get leads from it, especially if they're now connected to realtor.com. And I think that was my biggest disappointment was, you know, I do get a lot of leads from Zillow. Um, I pay a lot of money, but I get a lot of leads. Yeah. And I've seen that before with, with Google, I really wasn't getting anything. Are you doing Google, um, Google local ad services? their new new leads program no you, not yet yeah we will uh i'll, I'll text you um okay. later today and and uh, tell you more about that but that's we have a lot of clients that have taken their budgets from zillow and put it into google local ad services their new kind of leads program and mm -hmm. our clients our clients in the new york area are doing um really well with it so it's uh it's something that we can talk to them. um i'll uh, pop my number up again here so um, old, old habits are hard to break, guys. So yeah. if you need help, shoot me a text. Like Maria, I definitely want to uh, go over Google Local with you and show yeah. you how we're helping clients with that. Um, there's a lot of good leads in there and um, not as expensive, I think. So uh, a lot of agents that, that did pull their budget, they're looking okay. But guys, when you're looking at getting leads, uh, like Maria said, she's she's addressed some of her, her platforms. Because um, when you're in a, a leads program, any leads program, they definitely look you guys up online. So if you want to convert that lead to a sell or convert it to an appointment, um, you've got to have your online presence solid. So if you need help with this, shoot me a text. Um, I'll send you a calendar invite. We'll set schedule a time to meet. And uh, we can you know, definitely okay. go through your, your, your platforms like Alex is Googling you guys in the background. And then you know, we can answer any questions uh, direct with you as well. Um, so we'll keep moving forward here. So that was kind of our goals for today, guys, is to, to, to uh, get you to take steps of action here. You know, upgrade your digital presence, get your business to the next level. Like I said, 90% or more of agents that, you know, get our help say, you know, this is something I should have taken care of a long time ago. Like how many searches did I not show up in? How many times did I, you know, I lose a deal because my reviews weren't um, as high. So we definitely want to get in this game of social media start building those Google reviews and um, taking it, you know, to the next level, get it taken care of, get it out of the way. So 
this is what I was talking about when you don't want to look like you're dabbling online, right? When we look at agents up on Google, like I could tell Maria is not dabbling. She's all in. Her platforms are populating. She's got information, you know, filled out. So if you're sitting out there and some of these are blank for you um, to that, you know, consumer, that referral that's looking you up, you know, there it's in their head or, oh, are they and it's this thing full time. You know, I'm looking at a million dollar plus property. Do I want to work with a part time agent, full time agent, someone that's all in, right, um, that I know I'm going to get the best service from. And so you want, if you've got that reputation of being, you know, a solid agent in the market, you're crushing it, you want that to reflect online. So um, Alex has a great slide that uh, he used in the presentation uh, at a conference uh, a few months back that had a, uh, you know, a house with just one string of Christmas lights around it. And this was kind of right, right around Christmas time. Um, and then another one, you know, those houses that are just Santa's on the roof going around in a sleigh on the top. It's got the lights in the front yard, you know, that has the manger scene. And so it's like this perfect example was like, this is your dabbling and putting your lights up. This is your all in, right? So you kind of can tell like the difference uh, when you look somewhat if somebody up online, if they're dabbling, if they're all in. So that's what we kind of help you guys with. So those are the eight sites. We created the digital optimization to kind of take that stress off your plate. Um, let us worry about hitting those 181 data points, getting the, everything filled out for you, um, and then just getting it all taken care of in one, uh, you know, 30-day uh, increment. And then you know you've got peace of mind. Like, go ahead and Google me. I'm awesome across the board. Um, I look solid. So this is kind of like the package that we've got that covers these eight platforms. Um, it covers your branding, LinkedIn. We're going to make sure that everything is, you know, connected to um, your brokerage. Everything is populating in your LinkedIn page. Um, your YouTube channel is set up the right way as a branded channel. Um, we'll show you how to pop videos up here quickly. You know, our, our coaches are very good at this. Homes.com, like I said, they've got some huge stuff coming out this year. Their platform is, um, you know, they're adding a team page where you can build team pages. Um, lots of good stuff, lots of marketing and driving traffic to that platform. So. You want to have that at least populated on Google and, and, and filled out with all the right settings. Same with the realtor.com. We went through that a little bit. They get a lot of hits. So you want that set up the right way and looking like you're not dabbling. Um, your Zillow page, Maria, well, that was an awesome job making sure that the sales data is up to date um, and everything was populating in, in Zillow. But it sounds like you're, you know, if you're paying them a lot of money, they, they better you know help you out here <laughs> in that platform. And then this is what... Uh, a great slide, and we and we got a great uh, um, presentation in our one of our webinars in our influencer program from Gabe Cordova, the Wailopo guy, and he put together. I think was it based on one of uh, Grant Cardone's um, things that he put together, like you know, in real estate, time versus money. If you're selling um, houses at average like three hundred thousand range, that your time is worth you know one hundred and thirty dollars an hour, right? If you're in that 500K range and you're selling those um, amount, pr price amount of houses, you're in that, you know, 190, 100, you know, $95 an hour range. So you can kind of gauge what your time is worth and what are you spending your time on? Are you focusing on real estate and getting those transactions or are you focusing on, you know, other stuff that's taking your time away? So we want to help, you know, kind of kick that uh, burden off of you and, and, and free up a ton of time for you. So. Um, you know, this is the Google page or the grade that we get. So we, after we optimize and help you guys out, we run you back through our system and then we want to get you to uh, as close to hundred as we can. Sometimes if we're in the nineties or you're in the, you know, low nineties, high eighties, it's your Google reviews that our software is picking up that, uh, you know, that's how you're going to get to hundred. So, um, but the information, you know, we all know is, is never helped anybody. We all hear it. We're like, yeah, I got to get this done. I got to take some action. Um, you know, I'll, I'll do it later. You keep putting it off and you never do. So, um, you know, I keep going back to that review that all the agents that get our help say like, oh my gosh, I, you know, I didn't know how deep some of these platforms were. I've been on some of our onboarding calls with our coaches with you guys and Facebook. I'm just amazed how deep that platform is. I mean, they keep adding new stuff and um, some of the, the settings that need to be clicked for it to populate, for it to, you know, show this uh, are crazy. So uh, we, we recognize there's a gap, you guys, um, for where you want to be online and where you're at, um, where you are growing, where you're not growing, where you're getting leads, where you're not getting leads. So 
you never know which platform they're going to click on first. Um, you never know like what's going to relate to them. So we want all of this taken care of. And you know, that's the secret is we've got this uh, bridge here for you to fill that gap and to get you to the next level. And um, you know, adding this influencer program is uh, was our next step because a lot of agents are like, okay, you guys made me look awesome online. I'm populating and on Google uh, algorithm like crazy. And uh, what what else you got? What else can you do for me? So we've kind of uh, you know letting you know that we we do we do all of this for you, and then kind of taking things to the next level. Um, you know was our next step for you guys. So basically it comes down to, you know, a couple options here. You do nothing and you just keep going on about your day and, and wasting time, um, or you just get this done, get it in your budget, have us help you get it all taken care of and uh, invest in your online presence. Like it's the, one of the number one things as the market. Yeah, you know, basically, you just want to jump in Josh for a second. Basically, why we created this is because we know that you could waste a lot of time here because we used to do it. We used to like I used to manually do this for realtors. It took 40 hours to go clean everything up. And then we just got really good at it after we did it 10,000 times. And now now we're basically able to say, OK, work with us for 90 minutes. Give us all the information we need. Give us access to all your accounts. And then you get off the call and we get everything done. And then within 30 business days, all eight of your sites are dialed in, branded, cleaned up, all the data points are checking, everything's working. And then we circle back with you to show you everything that we did. And that's the best way to say, okay, I signed up for this. They did a bunch of work and now I get to review it, make sure it all looks good to me. And then we're a green light and we can move forward. And then from there, we can help you grow on all those platforms. Um, and there's no contract for that. Like you can go month to month. But the idea is just to get everything cleaned up and then have a service that maintains and helps you grow on all these platforms. Yeah, 100%. And that's why um, I think I'm Alex said when he was talking to the uh, people at NAR, uh, they saw the value that we bring to, to realtors. Um, they wanted to jump in and, and get us, you know, um, growing, get us out there in front of more people, uh, in front of more agents. So, uh, getting this is like it's a top of mind, you know, service, right? And we know you guys have been burned a lot, like Maria said. You know, there's a lot of companies out there that go after, you know, real estate agents and their their dollars. But uh, we kind of figured this out this this early. Like this is something that definitely has to get done for you. Um, and then you know we want to help you get this all done because it's just something else that you have to learn, uh, and the learning curve is is huge. Um, so basically, when we look back on this, I mean, a lot of agents, I mean, this is kind of a no-brainer, right? Uh, Maria, you can chime in on this if you're still on, on uh, not on mute. Yeah. You know, if this, if you got one lead at a realtor.com or one lead off of, you know, um, your Google page, um, you know, would it be worth it? Like, what's the average commission that you guys work with in your, your office or, you know, when you close a transaction? It's always worth it. I mean, you have to start somewhere. That's my opinion. Um, and if you get one, then what do you need to do to get the next one is, is the way I look at it. Um, but like I said, it's just understanding and just keeping it growing is, is my thought. Yeah, that's my, uh, Yes, <laughs> that was the next slide. And that's why Alex, uh, you know, when we were looking at when agents were asking us, you know, what uh, what's next? So um, we'll go through kind of what's, you know, the pricing and the value that this uh, program brings. And then Alex can wrap it up by telling us more about uh, the influencer program um, before we, we pop the uh, registration link out there. But this is kind of the value of what's, at, you know, included, what other, you know, platforms are charging for some of this. Um, I know home snap, you know, I think Google business is what they focus on. I'm not sure if they optimize any other uh, stuff, but uh, we want to tackle all this for you guys at one time. So just seeing the different values in there, you know, if we were to add all this up profile by profile, we're at, you know, almost a couple thousand dollars. Um, we're throwing in some, some stuff for HCAR uh, with our partnership with you guys. So that 90 minute call with your success coach is huge because that's your only time commitment. Um, these guys are, you know, they'll show you branding examples. They'll work with you to customize your cover images. So it's a one-on-one -on -one approach. It's not a templated process. 
um, you know, we always work with you to get to make sure it's done right. Because like we said, we know like uh, we don't want that feeling that, you know, oh, I paid for this. But I got burned by another company. Um, you know, we want to we want to hold your hand. We want to make sure that we deliver, you know, our promise of getting you um, all of these platforms uh, dialed in. So this is kind of what you want to, you know, have that consistent branded cover image across the board um, in your sites. And that's what uh, our graphics team is very good at this um, and getting all of this done. So that's the bonus number one. Um, we're up to like, you know, 2,800 in value and we'll just keep plugging through here. So the, the second bonus is um, you're with your Instacart, your digital card, we've got, you know, support lines. We'll customize it totally for you. We'll build it for you based on what's on, at, on the internet right now. And then you always have the option to jump on a call. We've got three webinars, I think, um, a week now. Alex, I think on, uh, you know, trainings on our Instacart, because we want you guys to use this thing and help you get, um, you know, grow your Google reviews, get your digital credibility when you show it to somebody. Um, it's the only digital card in the market where you can actually open it up on a PC. So if you email it to somebody, they can open it up on a PC, leave you a review on their computer as well. Um, and it's the only digital card in the market that is also video enabled. So in your background here, you can have a custom photo, an image, or you can have a video, a Vimeo, of one of your listings playing. So it's a, it's an awesome option when you open it up on the phone. It's like moving in the background. Agents love it. They're getting a lot out of it. That's a great value that we provide. And you know, when it gets down to it, 88% of business cards get thrown in the trash in less than mm -hmm. two weeks. When you give them a paper card, you're hoping that they put your info in their phone. And then even if they do, then they throw your card away anyway. So just having that digital, you know, text it, QR code, share it. Um, agents, I mean, we're getting a lot of awesome feedback of, you know, helping them build those reviews. Uh, I think it's the only digital card that makes that, that is easy as well. Um, that's Tristan Ayamada, who we, is one of our influencers that we partner with. Um, he loves his Instacart. He's the one that runs. If you guys aren't on Lab Coat Agents on Facebook group, um, you want to jump into that group. It's like the largest group on Facebook for realtors, and there's a ton of value and a lot of uh, technology um, stuff that they cover in that as well. So lab coat agents is uh, what that's called. And then here's just some of the features of the Instacart. Um, you know, you got the QR code. You can use that QR code on any marketing material. It's all gonna go back to your digital card. Um, you have the, the uh, option to download it and then share it, you know, print it out. You can leave it at an open house, like on the counter. They scan my QR code, it's got all my contact info. Um, so there's Alex and Tristan at one of our past conferences. Sir Hans' team was like one of our top agents. Uh, oop, sorry, where are we at here? Oop. There we go. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> uh, let's just go right. Let's just go right into that. So yeah. So basically, the idea is we set everything up for you, all eight sites. We put it all on a digital card for you that we make for you, so that you can install it on your phone. You can share that easily with people. You never run out of business cards. You always capture the other person's info because yeah. when you send them your digital card, it asks for their information, which is really huge. Not a lot of you realize this, but when you pass out business cards, you don't always get the other person's info. The digital card mm -hmm. will automatically save your info yeah. and their phone and get their info. So we put all that together for you. And then we provide ongoing maintenance and support through what's called an influencer program. And that's to help you be an influencer, to help you get more reviews, to help you get more followers, to help you get more likes on Facebook. And we give you content every single day. You can try it out for 30 days, see if you love it. Most of our clients do. And uh, the entire package is basically $12.97 to set it up, $99 for the digital card per year, and then $97 a month if you want the influencer bundle. So if you, the discount we have today is $14.93. So you pay one time $14.93, includes your digital card for the first year, includes the setup of all eight sites, includes the 90-minute onboarding call, and then you just pay $97 a month after the first 30 days if you see value in that program, which you will. But we don't have a contract on it, so we're not like going to lock you into anything like a gym membership or like a, you know other vendors do for a one-year agreement. We just want you to see the value. It includes daily support every single day, Monday, day through Friday, you can get on a Zoom session with us and ask us questions, get hands-on support on any topic, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, Google, all of it. 
most brands don't offer this. Like even in the biggest brands, they don't have like daily social media support. So that's why we're doing this is because we know everybody needs it. And this is just a way to get it all done basically and have everything provided to you. And the discounted price for HGAR is 1493. So for just an investment of 1493, you're getting all eight sites optimized, onboarding call, branding package, the digital business card free for a year, and then not the first month of support and coaching included. So I'm gonna put the link in the chat for everybody if that's something you're interested in or you can schedule with Josh. But I know we're short on time, so I just want to make sure we, we got to the finish line for you. Yeah. So here's the, the complete package. Like Alex said, there's no, no contracts or anything. Um, agents that are in that influencer program are going, oh my gosh, this is, you know, um, so much value that I get out of this thing um, every month. So, you know, the 30 free posts of content, hashtags, the videos, 15 live webinars, you know, a month of two coaching webinars, um, trainings on, on Facebook, on YouTube. So definitely there's a, a lot of value in that for that price. Um, for you to stay current and up to date, you know, on your social media. So um, this is the QR code here as well. If you scan that, it'll pull up that link is to register. Um, the most important thing is to get, um, get registered and get that onboarding 90 minute call with our success coach locked in. Um, Cause as we're, we're going to a lot of conferences right now, um, those get pushed out and pushed out as more agents are signing up for our help. So um, getting that, that call scheduled, getting that locked in um, is going to be key um, because then they get pushed out. I think we're out to like maybe the last week of March right now to get that done because nothing happens after that uh, until after that call. So it takes about 30 days after that onboarding call, after we get all of your information, all of your keywords um, that we can use for your markets, your specializations, um, going over your, your custom branding for your cover images um that we're going to create for you and then after that call that's your only time commitment um, we'll keep in touch with you throughout the process if we need anything um, but after that we're going to do a review call and go over everything and make sure that you're happy with your branding all the links are going to the right places um, and that it's uh, your, your online presence is populating the way that you want it to so that's a qr code to scan to get registered and let's see if we can uh google audit are you, are you going to be at the Berkshire Hathaway Conference yes. in Vegas? Okay. Good. Yep. Come by the booth when on these webinars we're doing. I think we've got, I think there's four or five agents now that we've talked to that are coming that will buy you a drink. <laughs> okay. Well, I'd like to talk to you before that, um, but that's, okay. yeah, I'll definitely we'll stop by the booth. Awesome. Yeah, Berkshire Hathaway, we're, we're, we're doing a ton of the webinars for them right now. They're, they're loving everything that we're doing. So just by a show of hands, how many people feel like this is something they might need help with? Are there any questions? Let us know in the chat. Yeah, Maria sure. looks like she needs help. Julius looking like he needs some help. Amy, how's that sitting with you? Is it something you're interested in getting help with? Yeah, guys, don't don't keep putting this off. This is uh, you know something that you just gotta you know bite the bullet, get it done, and then you'll be amazed how it frees up you know peace of mind for you, um, knowing that this is just all taken care of, and it and it's done within you know a thirty day process. I just looked at the calendar. It does look like we are out till the end of March, so it only takes like two minutes to register to get that call locked in. Um, Page one is just account information for our system to put you in our, our system. And then you're going to hit subscribe. Um, the next page that comes up is the credit card info. You pop that in and hit submit. And then wait for that next page to come up. It's going to say, congratulations, schedule your call. It's going to have a, a red Calendly link. And you're going to want to click on that. And then it's going to pull up the first available uh, days and then the uh, times that were available that day to get your call scheduled. So pick a date that works best for you. Um, so you can set aside that 90 minutes to get uh, everything done. Um, you're gonna get uh, four emails after registering. Uh, two will be for your Instacard. Um, I think one's uh, for influencer program as well, right, Alex? You're gonna get an email of how to get onboarded into the influencer program. 
you're going to get a receipt for your taxes, uh, an invoice receipt, and, um, and then you're going to get a confirmation of your schedule time and who your coach is. So those, those emails will start coming your way. The Instacart emails will show you how to set up your dashboard. And that's a really cool feature, like Alex mentioned, that we just uh, added to the Instacart. When they pop in their info, it's going to put them in a, a bucket inside your dashboard, and it'll show you the time, uh, who they are, their email, their phone number that you shared your digital card with. Um, and then so you could follow up with them. So it just keeps track of everybody that you I got it. I, I got it, Josh. I got to hop. Okay. I can hang out. I got to hop off for my next questions. I just, I just want to let everybody know that one of the nice things about this new program that we have, the influencer, is that even while you're waiting for your onboarding call, you have support immediately. So like you get to jump on a Zoom call like Monday or today's what, Tuesday, I mean, even tomorrow, we have Zoom calls every single day where you get to speak to somebody live. So even if you're, we don't optimize all your profiles for 30 days, you can start getting Google reviews immediately and we can show you how to do that. Your digital card also gets built right away. Yeah. So everything moves a lot faster now that we created this new program because we, we've got so much demand that we had to move things to open up quicker for people. So thank you everybody for your time. Take Thank advantage of free resources. Take advantage of Josh. He's got his cell phone number there. You can ask him any questions. No obligation. Even if you just need the guidebooks, that's fine for us oh, too. Used. Thank you, Alex. Thank, Thank you. you. Great, yeah, I just, Josh. I just, Great presentation. Yeah, I just pop my number in the chat. If you want to pop me a text, I can send you a calendar link. If you want to jump on a call, um, we do this a lot where we'll just do like an audit of your online presence. Get that free grade in the system as well. So you can see like, you know, where, what exactly your score is on those eight platforms. And uh, yeah, and don't be uh, afraid to reach out for help. If, you, if you've got that link or if you need the link again, text me, you know, I'm in, I need the link um, and I'll get that link to you um, via text as well. You can register right on your phone. Um, it's very easy to do, but the most important thing is to get that, that onboarding call locked in. So uh, and, thanks, Barry. We appreciate you having us again. Oh, thank you. And we are going to, uh, we are recording this, so you will have it out to you hopefully this afternoon. I just want to really quickly share my screen. Um, this is our first live, yes, you heard me correct, live Breakfast with Benefits. Hey. It's coming up <laughs> next week, next Tuesday. It's going to be about credit. How important is it? Um, it's presented by Prime Lending, and we are actually going to have breakfast. We're going to have coffee and bagels and <laughs> and strudels and all kinds of good stuff. So it's worth getting up and getting out of bed for, um, and you'll get to actually speak oh, to oh, your fellow realtors, which is something we really can't do on Zoom. So um, that's next Tuesday, 9 o'clock, right here in White Plains, um, and the, it's right on our website. Click the button to register and I'll be sending around another reminder email about it. So, but thank you everyone. And um, any any other questions you can just, you know, uh, reach out to Josh, you can reach out to me and I'll forward it to them. So um, have a wonderful day and hopefully we'll see you next week live in person with our bagels. All right, everyone, have a great day. Have a great day. Go crush it this week, guys. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.